On a Sunday morning, 49 innocent people lost their lives, 49 lives cut down in their prime. A man with hatred in his eyes took an AR-15 assault rifle into a gay club and fired. On a Sunday, we were in mourning, collective grief outpouring as one by one, 49 families discovered that their sons and daughters were never coming home. 49 phones rung and went unanswered. And now we find ourselves looking for answers, find ourselves asking why, wondering how many of us have to die, how many must lose their lives before we cry out and say, enough. They tell us not to make this political, not to belittle the memories of those lost. And I'm at a loss because while my rights are up for debate, the NRA will wave this tragedy all away, will say that the acceptable price for their right to bear arms is my people being shot. How is this not political? When preachers and politicians who teach hate, who'll regulate who and how we're allowed to love but won't regulate guns, communicate their insincere condolences for a situation they helped to create. Don't tell me this isn't political. On a Sunday, 49 of my brothers and sisters died in a gunman's fire and I am afraid for the first time. In less than nine weeks, I fly to Orlando, Orlando, Florida, the Sunshine State. A planned getaway to Disney World, the happiest place on Earth, or so I am told. Land of the free and the brave, and still I am afraid that one day it'll be me and mine in front of that firing line. On a Sunday morning, 49 people died just because they were gay or bisexual or transgender and we send our love and we pray knowing that one day soon it'll happen all again unless we fix what is broken. Break open this system that tells us it's more acceptable to get a rifle than a marriage license. And yet we'll blame ISIS. We'll blame this crisis on some foreign ideology when it's right here at home. Homophobia is where the heartland is. But maybe if we start teaching our sons about love and not guns, then maybe someday on Sundays, grooms and grooms can walk hand in hand without worrying about a man with a rifle walking into the room. Thank you.